Hello, my name is um, Steve Gaskin. I was uh, formerly a Detective Chief Inspector in the Metropolitan Police Service in London. And uh, when I retired, I went back to university and I retrained as a secondary school maths teacher. Uh, so uh, being in the teaching profession, what I've tried to do is to make this guide uh, as easy as possible for you. So uh, first of all, uh, thank you very much for helping run these sessions. I do hope that uh, young minds will be enthused uh, by the material. So what I'm going to do straight away is I'm just going to run through that uh, with you. So this is a very, very short teacher's guide. The aims of the course, uh, you can see there, that's my particular background. I'm a lecturer at City University and I'm currently the advisor for BBC Silent Witness. So the aim of this four session course is to give students the opportunity to examine the nature of murderers, their victim selection, and behavior. The objectives is to gain a deeper understanding of criminal psychology by examining four subjects as follows. Psychology of aggression and violence, offender profiling, the world of psychopaths, and finally, uh, serial killers. So those four subjects are, are have pre-recorded videos, uh, which obviously you will see, and that forms the basis of the course. So again, four discrete sessions, but they are interlocking. <clears throat> this is uh, the support that needs to be given. You must bear in mind emotional health and safety. Please be aware by the very nature uh, of this course, there will, be, there will be reference to murder cases and sexual offences. The references though are minimal. So the four sessions, each session has a maximum of 50 minutes and is a mixture of information giving, my expertise and discovery learning. It also allows for small and paired discussion. As I say, each session is a pre-recorded video and it can be started, started and stopped. So when you're listening to it, or if these are um, sick formers, they can start and stop it as appropriate. So I will give a pause and it's obvious where those pauses are. And the documentation for the students, each, se each session, discrete session, has some documents with it. And I'm going to show you what they are on this next slide. So the first one, there is a, an aggression questionnaire, so you can measure uh, your own aggression. And there is then a, uh, a chart for you to look at the raw score and compare that against the chart. And also on our website, there is a video around Stanley Milgram's original experiment in 1961, and it's called Obedience to Authority. All you need to do is to click on here, and I'm gonna send you the PowerPoint, and that will take you through to those resources. I'm gonna say this again, if you're any doubt, and you're gonna see this in a minute, you just go to our website, which is thecrimelab.co.uk forward slash resources, and you'll be able to find them. But by clicking here is to make your life as easy as possible. Offender profiling on the website there, again, is an offender profile drawn up by Dr. Thomas Bond around Jack the Ripper in 1888. Uh, also, I've got an offender profile, a very up-to-date one written by the FBI around the Golden State Killer, uh, a chap called D'Angelo, Joseph D'Angelo, and he's just been sent to prison for life. And there's some CPA crime pattern analysis around Jack the, Rip the Ripper. The third session, uh, I've done two case studies around two notable criminal psychopaths. One is called Peter Anthony Manuel, and the other one is Harold Shipman. Uh, those are quite good for uh, students to uh, probably to take away after the session to read through. And the final one is the uh, serial killers. It's around British serial killers. And there's a way of, it develops psychopaths, and it's a way of measuring what is known as the dark triad, which you'll see in the session. And there's some letters written by the serial killer, Dennis Nielsen, which was actually serialized on the TV uh, recently. Uh, so again, that's easy. And I've put on there as if in doubt, go to our website and you will find them. So again, I keep trying to make this as easy as possible for you guys. So this is a quick ready reckoner uh, is ensure there's an appropriate broadcasting facilities. A, a smart board or a whiteboard would be marvelous uh, with sound, obviously. 
Some students may wish to take notes, so make sure they've got the right materials there and the, make sure the correct documentation for the event, which we, we discussed earlier on. And um, finally, I've designed a certificate uh, at the end of the fourth session, uh, which you're gonna see in one minute. And it's also, uh, so it can be printed out if that's appropriate, it might not be, that's entirely a matter for you. Questions, I'm mindful that this is not being done live time. So if the students have any questions, uh, please e email them to uh, team at the crime lab .co .uk, and that is uh, limited to 10 questions. And finally, here is uh, the certificate, uh, which is again easy to print out. In this area here, uh, you can put the student's name in. Um, it might be worthwhile keeping it for records of work, particularly if someone applies to university uh, to read psychology sociology criminology that might help so that's it any problems do email us at the team at the cream uh, team at the crime lab .co .uk. so thank you very much for uh, running uh, these sessions i really hope uh, students enjoy it and i also hope that you enjoy inside the mind of a murderer thank you